Hello. Okay, we can start. Okay, Pia. Yes, I've started the recording. Mm. Okay. I have already started, Pia. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, Munnat. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, last session you have attended? Yes. No, no, last session I just missed it. I, I was having some KT. So, only. Okay. Okay, okay. Not an issue. So today, what we are doing means inside the functional component, right? If we have some functional component, that in that functional component with TypeScript, how can we add with type, TypeScript and functional component? Okay. Because I think TypeScript one session I have already given, right? In that session? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so today one demo for the TypeScript with functional component. That is also essential because if you are suppose you are working in the functional component, then you need to require some type if, and the project is also TypeScript. Then you need to know that you have to add the functional component and TypeScript, right? Yes. So, so that I am going to share. Just. My screen is visible. Yeah, functional components in the sense without using class. You no using when there is no state, right? In the okay. state, there is there should be there should not be any state. Okay. Okay. So I'll create one component, and that should be your that should be your functional component. And my TypeScript is already there. If you see in my package JSON, my screen is visible, right? You be on. Yeah, so you can see the TypeScript. So TypeScript we are using one demo. I have shown the class-based component in the TypeScript, right? One thing that I want to show if my component is functional, means there is no state. We are not using state, but how? We can add the TypeScript in the functional component that I want to show. Let me import. What I will import? React, right? Uh, yes, React. From um, React, right? Yes. Now, if my component is functional, right? So fun is there functional component, but in TypeScript we have we have to mention that proper functional the TypeScript type functional right that what you are doing React dot fc okay. yeah. inside the namespace functional component still it. Without and with, but recommended that you have to add the react.fc. You can see if I will hover in the fc, the type is showing na? react.fc, react functional component is showing, right? Yes. Now I have to use one new state effect that is hooks. In the use state effect, I want to add some JSON data, hard coded data that might be replaced in that your JSON, JSON file or other API call that you can add. But what I will do, 
This is my array of object that take name, right? But name is coming from where? If I will add anything, you can add this value. name. That can be your designation, salary, anything, any object you can add. But we need some proper that is called your interface, right? So what I will do, if I will key as one interface, that is I state. That I want to create name. So we define the method interface, right? Designation that also be your string and your one link that I want to add, like GitHub. This string. One node that is also string. So this is my interface, right? I state. One thing I will add this thing. That means this parameter is optional. If I will pass the value or not, this value should be optional. Okay. What I'll do? I will create one interface, different file. You can see that I have already created one interface file. Same interface file, right? Put my interface. So instead of using inside that interface, we can separate this file, interface file. We no need to add this because this I state is required in other places, other component. Order. So that time we have to just import. Functional component in the type state. What I will do the functional component if we will using TypeScript, that is your yeah, understood, right? I state. owner or all yes 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 so you have to add your type namespace interface i have to import this thing interface and in the interface what value i have people okay now if i will create one object you can see name is coming already right but if you're not adding this thing, like name, so it's showing the type property, right? This property. But if I not add this thing, and if I just write name, nothing showing cons is treated as variable, normal name, right? It's a void. So better you have to add your interface in the functional component i state and that should be your triple now i have create aging machine this is it and your github link any link I'll provide you. That should be dummy. And that is your. Now, you can see there is not error is showing, right? For my drop down, if I will do, I remove that. 
property node is missing in type. If parameter as optional, the string this is the optional parameter. Um, error and not showing. So what I will do? I you can add or not that up to your choice. But you should add the value. Okay. Or not? Or all? Yes, yes, yes. You understood right? the parameters that of optional uh, parameter. What is there? Any name you can take. My name also you can provide. Two objects I have created. Remember, when you create the functional component, this name space is required. Type react.fc. If you add to this thing. And also, inside that i state method means this is the interface, and then you have to add your object. You can import this thing also. Okay, I'll show that. And in the div. I have created one list. List you have to import. Import. I'll create one list. List from index. So in the list there is no. Is there any confusion on this part? Anyone? So I have to add two parameters uh, that comes one variable that is people and set. People. I am going to create one list. Import react from react. What I will do? List and then Return list export default list. Okay, inside the list, what I'll do? What I'll do? Uh, we type we need to make okay react.fc. What is FC? Functional component. FC also we can write in this way. Okay. Okay. Either react.fc or FC. Okay. And same interface I required. What I will do? I state and you can provide one ally like as here it is props, so I can rename that to I props. Okay, I state is main interface and I declare is I props. What I will do? I will copy and I just add I props. Okay. Here props are required. Na? And people. 
from where it is coming people in my interface interface you have defined right that's why it's coming now display list i'll create other function get to return get a return i have people that is my props right but you can see display list it's a jsx element na right? in function hmm? jsx dot element you have to define this function this name jsx element what will do people dot map person command to return this is my own function let the alive to my class name you have to at least you have to name it prop p that is your i and you need one div class name list header okay image class name list image and src person dot we can say automatically the type is coming na get up any link any url whatever you want to show and this inside the image this value will be showing okay page to person dot we can say name and in the p tag person dot and at the beginning of it Yeah. Not not. So my list is completed. List. I just pass on prop that is my people. I no need these things. Delete it. Okay. If I run,
what you'll do your list is coming here and that is your function right so eli required one even That's true. Two okay. These two values are coming from functional component. That I saw earlier, but we have to understood that props and also the interface. How can we add inside the if I use functional component, then from the type script you can add this value. Okay. Now next thing, what I will do. I will add one button and input text. This value will add over here one by one. In the functional component, I will create add list dot tsx. Sorry, it should be tsx. I'm not using tsx. Add list. What will do? Import React from React, right? On add list, right? Return div add list. Export default add list. Okay. Any confusion? Anyone? Nothing, right? What will do, owner? React. React uh, dot fc. Yes. Why? Because they have functional component. No? Oh, oh yes. Okay. And we have to add the i props, right? Here also props required. Yes, I props. So if you just write I props, not understood, right? Import. Uh, import. First, what you will do? Import actually I state. So automatically, you can see that one intelligence comes, right? I state, no? Oh, yes. I state. Automatically, come, right? Okay. Then I state as I props. Any way you can do it. Is it allied? I props. Okay. Okay. And then just add people comma set people. Okay. Inside your set people does not exist in the I state. No? Set people. Speed of I state here. Yeah. What I will create set people I create after so export interface add list prof I learn. So we can add people from where I can derive this I state, right? I state people. 
and we request set people. What I will do? The app dot is spent right. And here you can add high speed. Okay. Go to the add list. What I will call import add add list prop right as i prop. We no need to repeat these import. Just close it. I prop now. Comma. Then the set people. Okay. Right? Yes. From the add list people, I can create set people. That is our interface. And what is dispatching the React dot? This people for update. Same thing I'll update now. So that's why I'm adding. Okay. If is there any error in the TypeScript? No issues found. Still running, right? There is no problem. Go there. We need one cons and input. This element I like and set input. Okay. We can do use state. Name by default is empty. Designation by default also empty. GitHub that is also empty. And not that is also empty. Now one function I will add, but before that I have to add that your input text. Div class name wrapper input. Any name you can take. Input. Input type that is takes right placeholder you can add enter your name okay class name add list value what value you will take input dot name and that is your name that should be your name and also we require one on change even and still we are seeing that is there any error or not every time you have to check no issues found still okay not a problem Add list. Copy this input. 
रिफ्रेस दिस इनपुट यू नीड वन बी आर टैब सेपरेशन राइट इनपुट टाइप टेक्स एंड दैट इज योर डिजिग्नेशन इंटर योर नेम डॉट वॉट एल डू नेम डॉट डेजिग्नेशन वॉट द वैल्यू राइट कॉपी एंड देन डी आर टैग प्लेस वॉट एल डू दिस योर गिट हब योर गिट हब लिंक गिट हब लिंक रेड GitHub right name should be days with nation and that is GitHub copy it add another the add tag paste in enter your In note, you can say Input dot note, right? That is your note. And we need one button. Type one be a tag, and you add one button. Button. Last name at at the least button. At least, at least. How do you that? On click right. And then. And also, one on change event handler is required. On change at handle is caller required. Okay. Hello. i will do one thing instead of input text i will take as text area text area and this type is not required and then again Forms and the pin. So when you add one method, right? You have to return the data type, like void. I don't have any data type currently in that. If I return something. string now it's showing error type string is not assignable to type void okay string okay don't pass any any value you can pass whatever the data type you have to pass this thing so here i'll pass void whenever i add void we can showing error now we require one event That event is there e, and we have to add react 
डॉट इन मिलियन एंड यू टू पास दैट इफ योर इनपुट एलिमेंट इज ए स्टेमल यू कैन से गो एंड रिएक्ट डॉट डिटेल स्टेमल बोल रिएक्ट डॉट इनपुट स्टेमल एट्रिब्यूट दैट इज एच टी मेल इनपुट एलिमेंट राइट कॉपी दैट एंड नाउ सोइंग इट्स एरर राइट चेंज गिवन एच टी मेल टेक्स्ट एरिया एलिमेंट राइट सो यू हैव टू पास दिस थिंग बिकॉज़ इट्स अ टेक्स्ट एरिया द टेक्स्ट एरिया वी हैव टू पास और और टेक्स्ट एरिया ओके सो इफ माय इनपुट टाइप एलिमेंट इज डिफरेंट सो यू हैव टू पास प्रॉपर इनपुट टाइप इनपुट एंड टेक्स्ट एरिया टू थिंग्स आई हैव टेकन सो दैट्स व्हाई इनपुट टाइप एलिमेंट एंड इनपुट टेक्स्ट एरिया एलिमेंट टू थिंग्स आई हैव एडेड इन माय टाइप स्क्रिप्ट ओके now i require one set input set input coming from here right set input in the set input you just add and set your value input i want to add the previous value and also e dot target dot name from the name i will get the value that's why i am adding e dot target dot name e dot target dot value that should be one on one fusion on that part yeah why you are using why you are destructuring the sorry this one no line number 13 uh, spread up it okay this is my set input right okay this is my set input i have passed to the use state hook right yes. my input element is name designation github node and set input i have to update my state right yes. so set input you have to update Okay. You state you if you want to update your state whenever add the button click the button event right yes or if you write something handle change this will not click this is handle change means on change on change event I will add this value right handle change this okay. thing so in the handle change I have to record on event right yes this event if you are in the type screen right if you see if I will remove this thing. Not understand, na? What is he? Yes. Okay. So input is that value is a spread operator. First class I will show you. Yes, yes. What is the spread operator? You get the value. What is yes. the value is there, right? Yes, so yes. You have to take the value, and also from where you can take the value from the input. Yes. Okay. So e dot target dot name. Where okay. is name? Name. Okay. So here name is designation. If name is designation, name is name. So from the name, whatever value you have typed, right? Okay. So this value they have taken from the handle change event. Okay. 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 E dot target dot value. I learned. Now I am writing handle click event. Okay. That is the handle click. Understood? Yes, yes, yes. On handle click is equal to what I will do? You have to return the data type, right? Always. I don't have any return data type. So void. But you have to mention, right? Data type. If you have written data types, if a 
void and return string it will show error yes, automatically it will show error right so in the proper data type we have to mention what we will do if not just check if is there if is there no value then i can update the value right yes dot name input dot designation input dot github okay understood right you have to return and set people what will do you have to add people right comma name input dot name right comma designation input dot designation right github input dot github right node input dot node understood and after that when you add the value then we have to empty the type we'll do set input then name designation github note okay okay now check no issues found nothing is coming right because we have to export at least but at least we have to import in the functional component at least right cannot find them go and click okay i will add manually uh, import add list i'm add list right at least required two parameters means props not parameter that is props people you have to set people and set people you required set people okay I will add
One minute. Yes, please turn the server. Come in. Yes. Come in. Right. Now, any value I add. Name. Name. Any value. Any value to one. Any value. That is GitHub. GitHub. Not any value in that. That is designation. Eleven. Not. This is not. Now add list. You can see this value is added, right? Multiple value you can add. Any questions on that part? No question. Uh, uh, understood, right? Yes. So demo is only for that component and also that how we can add the interface and your list that data types props that you have to mention. So in the data, if I will add uh, this data. One JSON, right? You can also add now click one data dot JSON file, data dot JSON. Go in the functional component. Art data dot JSON you need to require you no, not name but we have created on data that Okay, this is well enough. We have to add. This is well enough. We have to add. Now you have to import. What is import? Import. As data from not dot it is not given. Can I pass the data? Data you have to Okay, <clears throat> so instead of adding inside the value, you can also import the JSON value in the data set. Any value you can add. Okay.
So you can use even anything. You need to add that element that blocks. Is there any questions? Anyone? Not right. Yes, yeah, so today we can do only these things. And tomorrow one session is there, okay? Hello, each and everyone. Hello, Bridges. Hello, Nida. Yes, sir. Uh, so have you understood right these things? Yeah, right. In the functional component, how you can use TypeScript? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so I had one session that in the class-based component that I saw it. Mm -hmm. So because in the if you using your project for functional component, so TypeScript you have to mention properly interface and these things. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay, for today we can do these things also. I have cleared the file. Hmm. If you have any yes. question, no, no, or no question, you understood right? This thing because yes, yes. it's a functional component, class based component, anything can use. Yes, for any projects, right? Mm -hmm. Right, we need, we need to add the component class and we have to add the TypeScript properly over there. Hmm. So that's the reason I have this small demo for that part of you. you can understand is how we can. Add. That's a button, element, event, everything I have added in the yes. in this project. So that's a little. And uh, you, you all have uh, uh, re revised these sessions, whatever that previous session, whatever we have discussed. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I realize. And also, you all have to appear in the exam, right? Middle mm -hmm. day. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your, I think, fifth or sixth, your class will be completed. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. And then you have to appear the metal test. Yes. And metal test criteria is that seventy-five percent plus marks, then we will get the professional certificate. Ah, yes, right. And sixty to seventy per seventy-four percent marks, you will get normal. And attendance certificate that is called right. Mm. And less than 60 percent, you will not get any certificate provided. Yes, That's that true. you know, right? This right, thing. right. I know uh, that is the criteria, and you also have submit one project. Okay, this project list I will share with you. Uh -huh. From that, you have to take anyone <laughs> sure. that should be do in the TypeScript project. Mm. We require mm. yes. each and everyone with. That should be eight or uh, five or six project times given to you, you all of them, and you have to do this thing from your side. Yes. And then, if you are getting the marks, then these marks, this is seventy-five five percent marks. Then only you are eligible for the final Okay. And that's it. So that is the agenda. After completing this class, you have to get. So you all understood, right? Means that my right. previous sessions, previous sessions that you all have already I mean recording you, you have, right? You have to right, right. I have a recording, I have every content to provide. And I also have, I have uploaded the code materials also. So uh -huh. please yes. do this thing, okay? On mm -hmm. your side. Sure. Because uh, I have to uh, means in the one year, just whatever. The topic and demo that hands on part I, I want to show you. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Yes. Apart from this, you have to study that link. Everything I have shared, I think. Ah, yes, most, sure. most, most of the things I have shared. Mm -hmm. So you have yes. to appear for the exam after completing these things. Okay, yes. Okay, then we should meet tomorrow. Mm, sure. Bye. Yeah. Thank Please you. join. Yeah, thank you all. Bye. Bye. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye.